Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to explore the concept of electric energy in electric circuits. This topic is fundamental to understanding how electric circuits operate from the simplest household appliances to the complex systems that power entire cities. Additionally, we will look at why voltage and current are critical in energy dissipation and why high voltage is used to transmit power from power plants to cities. Electric energy is the energy associated with the electric field in the wires. It powers everything from light bulbs to computers and uh, is measured in joules. Electric energy E is related to power P and time T as E is equal to P times T, as usual. E is the energy measured in joules, P is the power measured in watts, and T is the time measured in seconds. Power can be calculated using voltage, current, and resistance. P is equal to V times I, or I squared times R, or V squared over R. These relationships are related through Ohm's law. While the joule is the standard unit of energy, in practical contexts, especially in households and industries, electric energy is often measured in kilowatt hour. One kilowatt hour is the amount of energy used by a one kilowatt, 1000 watts, device running for an hour. 1 kilowatt hour is 1000 watts times 3600 seconds, which is 3.6 million joules. If you run a 100 watt light bulb for 10 hours, the energy consumed is 100 watts times 10 hours is 1 kilowatt hour. This is a common way energy consumption is built, and understanding it helps you grasp the scale of energy used in everyday appliances. So check your electric bill. Let's have a look at the key circuit component, resistors. Resistors consume electric energy by converting it into heat. The power dissipated by a resistor is given by P is equal to I square R. This indicates that the power loss increases with the square of the current, making current a critical factor in energy dissipation. How does this impact on power losses? The equation P is equal to I square R and P equals to V square over R show how voltage and current impact power dissipation. Power loss in resistive components is directly proportional to the square of the current. A higher current leads to significantly higher power loss as heat, which is inefficient and undesirable, especially in power transmission lines. But for a given power level, increasing the voltage allows us to reduce the current, thus minimizing power loss. For example, to transmit 10,000 watts, 10 kilowatts, using low voltage, 100 volts, I equals to P over V, equals to 10,000 over 100, equals to 100 amps. Using high voltage, 10,000 volts, current equals to P over V, 10,000 over 10,000 is 1 amp. So for a given power that you want to transmit, lower current dramatically reduces the power loss as heat, as P loss equals to I square R. Why high voltage is used for power transmission then? Electrical power is generated at power plants and then transmitted over long distances to reach consumers. To minimize energy loss, power is transmitted at high voltages and low currents. For example, suppose the resistance of a transmission line is 2 ohms. At 100 amps, the power loss would be 100 amps a square times 2 ohms, which is 20,000 watts. At 1 amp, the power loss would be 1 amp square times 2 ohms equals to 2 watts. This comparison shows why high voltage and low current are critical in reducing energy losses. Power plants use step-up transformers to increase voltage for transmission and step-down transformers near cities to lower the voltage for safe 
use in homes and businesses. This strategy ensures efficient energy transfer over long distances while keeping energy losses minimal. Let's look at an example. A 1500 watt electric heater runs for three hours. How much energy does it consume and what is the cost of electricity built at 15 cents per kilowatt hour? For the energy, it's P times T, so it's 1500 watts times uh, three hours, which is 4.5 kilowatt hour. For the cost we have, well, the cost is 4.5 kilowatt hour times 0.15 dollar per kilowatt, so that's 0.675 dollars. This shows how understanding energy consumption can help manage electricity costs effectively. To summarize, electric and energy is the lifeblood of circuits powering everything from basic devices to entire cities. We'll learn how energy is measured, the impact of voltage and current on energy dissipation and why high voltage is crucial for efficient power transmission. Understanding these concepts not only helps in grasping the fundamentals of circuits, but also provides insight into real-world applications like power distribution and cost management in energy consumption. Energy transmission happens with AC, with alternate current, which is something that we will cover in future lessons. Thanks for listening and may science be with you. By the way, why did the light bulb break up with the battery? Because it found the relationship too one-sided. There just wasn't enough energy to power things.